Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Broken Sword 5, The Serpent's Curse. And I nearly said Broken Sword 4 there, but I didn't, I stopped myself. Uh, we are trying to prove that Lane is a complete and utter liar. And after speaking to this guy here, I think we can do that, because we managed to get uh, his bill from the night before, where he said he was nowhere near this gallery, but it turns out he was here until after midnight. So we might have what we need to get him to give us that door code now. Lane, good news. We've proven that you're a liar. Have a look at this. Take a look at this. Walt Harbert. It's yours, mate. It's your bill from the cafe next door. So? It's dated yesterday. Last night, in fact. 12.30 to be exact. Yeah. You said you were out of town. You're a liar. You sure drank a lot of champagne last night without paying the bill. Seems like a crime if but you ask me. But you told me that you were away from Paris last night. I hate to say it, but that sounds like a lie to me. Mm -hmm. Tell you what, you give me the code of the door and the police need never know. Yeah. A motive and proof of involvement. Not looking good, Mr. Definitely Lane. not looking good. You are a blackmailer, Stobart. Tough. Just doing my job. <laughs> All right. You have me. The number is 6397. Excellent. But I admit to none of these spurious accusations. That's fine. I had the code. The police would be here any moment, so I had to work fast. All right. Oh, the police are actually coming. I can hear them. What was that number again? Oh, come Six, on, George. Four, two, no. Everyone, hold it right there. Really, George? Damn it. A four-digit code. A four... Oh, look who it is. I am Inspector Navet of the Paris Serious Crime Squad, and I hereby declare this crime scene open. I mean, closed. <laughs> now, nobody move. Especially you on the floor. He's dead. Move. I want a total lockdown. Move. Nobody that's it. in or out. Apart from me, of course. Nice. It's cool, it's cool to see Moo again. A few minutes later. I needed Ooh. to get back into the gallery, but a familiar figure was guarding the door. It was Sergeant Mu. Our paths had crossed before. <clears throat> yep, yeah, we've uh, definitely spoken before in the first game. Does he remember us? Maybe not. Okay, we're playing as Nico now. What have we got in our... In our... Okay, weird. There we go. Phone and a press card. Interesting. Right, so that, that dialogue there is exactly what I was talking about. When she said that little narration thing, it was very, very quiet. And it seems like that happens all over this game. The audio balance levels of the dialogue lines are almost like they've been, I don't know, just recorded at different volumes and things. It's, it's kind of odd. Um, anyway, so we've got Inspector Mo I don't know what happens. Oh, is it this thing? Right, it is. So we get... Oh, it's like three pages of characters. So this is all the different people. Oh, we get like a little bio for them. That's nice. Okay, we're not going to look at that for now. Let's talk to Mu. Sergeant Mu, we meet again. Aha, Madame Cola. An unexpected pleasure. I was in the gallery at the time of the theft. Can I get back in? I am sorry. But I am under strict orders from Inspector Nave. We're a witness. Uh, nobody in, uh, nobody out. Come and on. I must correct you, madame. It is no longer just a theft. It is a murder. Mon dieu, that poor man. Oh yeah, she didn't see he was dead, I suppose. Let's ask about the gallery. I witnessed <clears throat> the crime. I've got to get back in there. I'm sure you can make an official statement in good time. I saw the thief. I think I can help the investigation. I am implacable, Madame Cola. <laughs> Alright, let's ask about this guy. Who is Inspector Nave? Ah, the most promising young investigator on the force. A genius. A man blessed with almost superhuman insight. Wow. He sounds highly perspicacious. Madame, it is not for us to talk about the inspector's sweaty proclivities. <laughs> He is about to solve his third case in as many days. 
So, what's he got that the other investigators don't have? Blood spatter. He is the world expert. Ooh. He reads the entrails of the crime scene like a book. Like Dexter. So ask more. I really need to get into the gallery and speak to Inspector Nave. Tut tut. He is not to be disturbed. He is applying his famous scientific methods. It's good for him. Any moment now, the case will be cracked. I certainly hope so. I am dog tired and want to go home. <laughs> Alright, let's ask about the thief. I chased after the shooter and got a photo of him. Inspector Nave will be delighted. You've got to let me into the gallery to show him. Absolutely not. So, I cannot go in without Inspector Nave's permission? No. And to get Inspector Nave's permission, I need to go in. Exactement. Have you ever heard of Kafka, Sergeant Mu? Madame Gola, I do not see what soccer players <laughs> Oh, God. No, he's a... Never mind. So I'm thinking... Madness. <coughs> Sergeant Mu wasn't going to let me in. Yeah, so I'm thinking we're going to have to find a way in, or maybe we can call George on the phone. Tiredness. Why are you so tired, Sergeant Mu? I have been working for three days with no rest. Nave is a genius in his field, and he assumes that we all have his energy and vigor. Right. Oh, you poor man. If you'd like to go and get some sleep, I will watch the door for you. That's very thoughtful of you. Ha! A cunning attempt to make <laughs> me a deserter, madame. He didn't fall for it. Gendarme never leaves his post. Well, how about a hot drink? Ah, that would do the trick for sure. Unfortunately, I mustn't drink on duty. My doctor specifically warned me against it after the last uh, incident. Oh? What incident? That incident you mentioned. What happened exactly? I don't want to talk about it. Come on. All I can say is, it was very unfortunate. I am on duty, and I need to focus. What was that sound? <laughs> Maybe we need to replicate this incident then. Here's my press card. Do you have a statement for the paper? Yes, madam. Stay away from the crime scene, and let the police do their job. And always leave a light on when you go out at night. Thanks a lot, Sergeant Moo. You've been so helpful. Hmm, well, we can have a look through the window. <clears throat> it was an office. The room was full of strange trinkets. Okay, uh, can we call George then? Oh, we've got our editor thing in there as well, I think. You look like the editor from the other games. Hi, George. I'm outside the gallery. Thank God you're safe, Nico. I tried the phone, but I couldn't get an answer. Inspector Moo is out here, and he's not letting me in. I managed to grab a couple of photos, but the guy got away. Poor Ori is dead. I know. Why kill him? I've been trying to find out. Turns out the alarm was tampered with. Looks to me like an inside job. So... No ordinary robbery. And no ordinary painting. The priest claims that La Maledizio is evil. I need to get into the office and see what the CCTV has to offer. Maybe you can help me out when you get back in here. Yeah, I mean, I think we can probably do that, right? But how we're going to do that, I don't know. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get him a drink anyway, because the incident seemed to be, you know, surrounding a drink. And we do know this cafe's here, so maybe we can get our waiter friend to, uh, to get some sort of coffee or something. Can we... Oh. Bonjour, monsieur. Whatever it is you want, we are closed. Oh, come on! Then why are you standing here? You would not understand, madame. Try me. Because I look at you, and I know you are like all the others. Ah. Uh. The others? The pretty women who shop. Who gossip, who have their spa days, their almond croissant. <laughs> okay. <Is> that bad, <coughs> huh? And the men with their grooming products and their shiny shoes and their skinny suits who come to my cafe and ask me for lattes, macchiatos, frappe. <laughs> I see your point. 
Is this what we fought on the barricades for, madame? Ripped up the paving slabs, bled on the streets. Isn't it? No, madame, it is not. We fought for ideas, for philosophy, for freedom, equality, fraternity. Vive la revolution. And do you know what drove us on as we fought? What fueled the streets of Paris in that glorious spring? What made our hearts soar? Uh, cheap wine and free sex? <laughs> <laughs> no, madame, no! It was French Café Noir that inspired us. Right. The simple demitas, the black sweet taste of freedom. Was it though? So that's why you closed? Yes, uh... madame. I serve only thinkers, philosophers, revolutionaries. And you, madame, with your polite top and your pointy ears, and none of those things. This is a cafe. Yes. To the right people. Really? Come on, man. Any other day, I would have given this guy a straight one to the chin. <laughs> but there was a chance he could help me get into the gallery. Okay, let's see if Monsieur. we can... Say anything else to him? Life is fleeting, madame. The sands of time are running through your fingers. Well, that may be, but... We know not what we want, and yet we are responsible for what we are. There's been a crime. That is terrible, madame. But you know what they say? No, but I think you're going to tell me. He is, yep. Life begins on the other side of despair. C'est vrai, no? Well, I guess so. He was pushing me to the point of despair. <laughs> During the riots, we battled the forces of oppression. Oh, really? That must have been terrifying. It was. Except that they made me stay behind the barricades with the other baristas. Ah. We made coffee by the litre to fuel the resistance. I've never brewed so much coffee. Of course, our brave heroes spent half their time going for a pee. <laughs> but with our coffee inside them, they fought the running dogs all night long. None of this was helping me get past Sajan Mou. No, it's Au not. Revoir. Okay, so can you just give us some coffee or something? I'm assuming we're going to need it. As always, Paris looked beautiful. Okay, is there anything we can, can look at around here? It's a drinks menu. The menu offered black coffee and a small selection of other drinks. Okay, can we get some black coffee? Or is he just going to tell us another story? Monsieur. The road to enlightenment is a long one, madame. Oh my god. Perhaps you will walk that road with me. Au revoir. Alright, <clears throat> he's not got anything worthwhile to say just yet, so let's try talking to Moo again, see if there's anything else to talk about. If not, <clears throat> we might need to Salut. go somewhere else. Bonjour, madame. Uh, so we can ask about all these things again. That incident you mentioned, what happened exactly? I don't want to talk about it. Fine. All I can say is it was very unfortunate. I am on duty, and I need to focus. Fine, you focus. Mm. That's fine. Mm. Is that him yawning? Sergeant Mu could do with one of those famous coffees. Thank you. Yeah, uh, okay. So, maybe we get one of those famous coffees now? Maybe it's a case of, like, you have to do that bit first. Here he is. Can you, can you just get a coffee? I don't want, want another story. Monsieur. Madame. I am not what you think I am. Being is. Being is in itself. Being is what it is. Right. Sartre. Being and nothingness. Bravo, madame. A lucky guess, perhaps. We'll see. Au revoir. Come on, man. Just give us a coffee. Seriously. Monsieur. Madame. The way that Lily hated his clientele, I had to convince him I was different. Okay. Freedom <coughs> is what you do with what's been done to you. Thanks for that. Can we talk? 
I am sorry, but I have no time to discuss human resources or pension plans or your water cooler gossip. Hey. Well, me neither. Au revoir. Maybe we have to show him our press card so that he knows who we are. Here's my press card. La liberté. Madame, you are not the person that I took you to be. Hey, okay. You must accept my deepest, my most profound apologies. Well, of course I accept. But why? La liberté. The great journal of freedom. At the height of the battle, as the tear gas blew and the blood flowed, it was La Liberté which carried the voice of our revolution to the world. I know now that you are not the kind of woman who would ask me for almond croissant. You are a true daughter of France, and I am your humble servant. Thanks, but yeah, dude, I just want a coffee. Like, Thank you. <laughs> seriously. Madame. C can you just give us a coffee, please? Could we have a little chat? Anytime, madame. Thank you. Coffee, How please. About some coffee? For you, madame, of course. Thank God for that. There is only one coffee that I can serve you. Black, strong, and in a tiny cup. One moment. Come on, then. Bring our coffee, please. Here is your coffee, madame. Thank you, monsieur. Thank you. All right. Well, I mean, that was relatively straightforward. Once he stopped, the coffee was hot and strong. Once he stopped going on and on and on. Um, oh, can we get? Did you make me a coffee to go? For a fellow revolutionary. Nice. Of course, madame. Right. So one moment. We had to order a coffee and then order a takeaway coffee. Apparently. Here's your. Take away coffee, madame. Thank you, good Thank sir. Thank you, monsieur. And uh, hopefully we never have to come back here and listen to your endless stories ever again. All right, then, guys. Well, I'll tell you what, we're out of time because that guy took so long. So we will give Inspector, or well, Sergeant Moo, his uh, coffee in the next one and see what happens. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, Coumadin, and Paul Leone. And I'll see you next time.